Customizing the quick access toolbar is one of the quickest and easiest ways of increasing your productivity in Creo Parametric. In another video, I showed you how to do this in Creo Parametric 3.0 and I mentioned some of the drawbacks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it in Creo Parametric 5.0 because in 4.0, they added some enhancements that make it much easier. So in order to customize it, you can go to File, Options, and then Quick Access Toolbar. That's one way of getting to the command. I'm going to cancel out of here. You can also get to it from the Quick Access Toolbar. There's a little drop down arrow and you can choose more commands. And so here I am and it shows me all commands in the design assembly. That's one nice thing. You don't have to choose all commands. That's the default to begin with. And just like before, I'm going to find the commands that I like to have in there. First off, let me find server manager. Again, if you are using Windchill, this is something that you're probably going to jump into a lot. And again, we can use the up and down keys to position it where we want. Another one that I like to have, erase not displayed. I can't remember if it's under erase or file. There it is, erase not displayed. And some of the other ones I like, let's go find layers. And you see right now I am scrolling around in here. But another way of doing it is using the filter. So for example, another one that I commonly use, publish geometry. And that way I can get to it much faster. And let's go ahead and just throw one more in here. Model properties. And position them where I want them to be. And so now that I have the commands that I want, I can just go ahead and click OK. There is an export button, but just like I showed you in the other video, this the changes that you make here are automatically saved. So I will click OK. And now I have the commands I want to use in the toolbar. And here's what's great about doing this in Creo 4.0 and later. So for example, let me go and say, hey, you know, I've got this part over here. Let's go ahead and open it up. You'll notice that the changes I made to the quick access toolbar are automatically propagated to all other modes in which you can use them. Also, for example, hey, let's go and take a look at this part over here. Hit the open button. Yeah, this is a sheet metal part, but again, I still have my customizations in the quick access toolbar. If you like this video, please subscribe to the Creo Parametric YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.